Here we are, and um, we're on our Inner Power training channel, sponsored by LifeWave. I've got my patch on. I love oh, yeah. nice. I love this one, this glutathione. I mean, I think you're noticing my voice is getting better. A lot of people have had trouble with their throat chakras this past year, and I was one of them. This is actually making me normal again. Yeah, excellent. Nice, That's nice. Nice. I, I love my patches. <laughs> patches are great. Yeah, I'm sure you've got one on too. I do. Yeah. But we're going to talk about the hidden messages of water today. Dr. Masaru Emoto, who did the frozen crystals. And I was telling uh, Kevin earlier, I used to talk about this in my Silva Ultramind workshops where I teach people to go to the alpha level because you can program water. And that's what Dr. Emoto was all about. He found out that our consciousness, music, vibrations, everything is picked up by water. It gets programmed and it has memory because we're 70% water. We want to be careful what kind of vibrations we're sending into our system, right? Absolutely. I yeah. can't tell you how important that is. And and to let people know, most people are uh, dehydrated. 90% of the people walking around are dehydrated and they don't know it. So, um, so important to drink, you know, adequate amounts of water. And, yeah. and, and juice and, and soft drinks are not water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Pure alkaline water is the best. Yeah. Well, I thought it was so interesting the way the most beautiful crystal that he created in his mind was the one when he put love and gratitude on the jar before, you know, it got frozen. And that's what he would do. He would just put words on jars. He mm -hmm. loved gratitude. Thank you. If you put I hate you, he got really ugly crystals. But the love and gratitude is just gorgeous. And you you were pointing out to me, they all have six points. Yeah. So that, you know, that's why it's very important to watch what comes out of your mouth as much as what you put into your mouth, right? So people say health and wellness is nutrition, but what words you're saying uh, will affect the cellular structure in your body and put it in a contracted state or an expansive state. Now, the ultimate expansive state is having love as your baseline. So having your words, thoughts, and actions reflect only uh, love and seeing anything else as a call for love. That is so important in these times that we're living in. Mm -hmm. The spiritual awakening. Yeah, because it's so easy to get drawn into social media through the news into negativity. You know, it's very, it's very, we're bombarded with negativity. So, and we're bombarded with situations that um, we want to be defensive in or we want to judge uh, others, right? And um, and as soon as we do that, we've we've just sent ourselves into an excited, uh, not optimal state of being. I mean, if you could see what judgment does to your cellular structure, it just completely distorts your cellular structure. That's why you get sick. That's why stress causes sickness. And the way he proved it with these pictures of these water crystals, he would even take rice and put I hate you on one jar and I love you on another. And the I love you rice would stay nice and white and healthy and the other stuff would start rotting away. <laughs> Well, it's the same thing with plants. So you could have two plants, right? You could water one plant with regular tap water and you could water another plant with um, love water, water that um, what I used to do, I have a pitcher called, I call love water. And I would water, I would water, you know, the plants with the water that was in that pitcher. And those plants that were watered with the love water which was filtered alkaline water, were just gorgeous, beautiful plants where the um, tap water plants were just dull and non non vibrant. Makes a right. big difference. Well, and that's exactly why you can actually pray over water. Get yourself into that state where you are unconditional love. And if you need a healing, you can do that and then drink the water 
and it'll have an effect on you or even a friend that feels like they're getting sick. You can give them water that's been treated like that. Water is fascinating because it it is, I mean, I have a, a friend who used to go to Lourdes on a mission, you know, when she was going to college, she went there twice. She told some pretty amazing stories about things that would happen to people in the water. You well, know. it's interesting. A lot of a lot of those shrines, like Lords and Fatima, uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe, a lot of them, um, where those visions of Mary take place, uh, a, a water spring usually is there already or pops up. Yeah, yeah, isn't that something? And it seems to have the potency, the ability to help people get better if they need that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can show your audience, Rebecca, if you can open the book and show them a love water crystal, see what it, show them what it looks like. Oh, yeah, this this is the love and gratitude one. It, so if you look at, so if you, if you uh, touch those, if you look at those points, it has six points, right? Right. So yeah. what does that mean? That's, that's the star tetrahedron, also known as the star David or the seal of Solomon or the flower of life. Those are all the same thing. The, 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 the six pointed star, which is the symbol of um, uh, the balance between the negative and positive polarities of beingness. So that's the mystical marriage within when that, that those, those two polarities come together, they form the six pointed star, which the, is, is the symbol of the heart. And there's six points in the, in the center part of it too. Yeah. yeah. The outer and the center. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. the one that he said changed his life. He he saw this crystal, which was loving gratitude, and it gave him a real awakening feeling. Of well, and, and, and your audience, you know, your audience is familiar with chakras, right? The chakra system in the yeah. body. Yeah, people talk so about that. The most important chakra is the heart chakra. So if you look up the symbol for the heart chakra, what is it? It's the six-pointed star. Hmm. So, so imagine, think of uh, the polarity, the masculine polarity is giving and the feminine polarity is receiving. So to give and to receive is one. So when you give and receive only one, you're centered in the heart instead right. of the head. Right. Well, and we, we've also talked about how, um, you know, I know when his book first came out and the movie, what the bleep featured it, in that movie too, where they were talking about it and showing pictures of his crystals, because that movie was all about learning how your inner controls your outer, not the other way around. Right. Rather than being reactionary, we when we wake up, we begin to realize it's not that we don't like what's out there, it's how we're reacting to it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so then, living, from the, living from the inside out instead of from the outside in. And that is so important in these times because, you know, I think the world more than ever with the speed of the internet and knowing what's happening all over the world, you can just get triggered all day long if you want to. But if you know that you're, you're kind of watching a movie, <laughs> right? it doesn't affect you the way it does if you're really trapped in the three-dimensional world. Or, but, or or someone like Don Miguel Ruiz, who wrote The Four Agreements, would tell you that you're dreaming. You're in the dream. Exactly. Well, that's what I like to call it, a waking dream. Because just like when I have dreams at night, mm -hmm. I'm dreaming right now. It just seems like it's not a dream, though, because every time I look at that thing over there, it's still there. <laughs> yeah, but imagine now take it another step further. <laughs> so you're in the dream right now. But of course, everyone would say, well, it's not a dream. I you know, my five senses are telling me it's not. But what would your senses tell you when you transition through death? Because you haven't, there is no death, your spirit moves on. So imagine your spirits looking at your loved ones and saying, wow, at this perspective, I can see how that's a dream because now my inner senses are picking up this environment and it's so somewhat different from that environment. So I, you know, you can see how it is a dream that basically everything in time anything that has a beginning and an end is really a dream state because only the eternal is real so look at it like the eternal is real our 
our imperfect human experience and time is a dream and it will end at some point. Right. If we gave that reality, then we'd all be screwed because then evil would be true. Um, disease would be true. Um, anger, <clears throat> wrath, darkness would all be true. And, and darkness doesn't, this is where a lot of people get it wrong. People say, well, darkness balances light. No, it doesn't. There is only light. You'll say, well, the yin and yang symbol is darkness and light. No, it's not. It represents the polarity of giving and receiving is the balance. But what you give and receive is only love. Only in duality is there evil. Only in duality is there darkness. In eternity, there is no darkness. That's right. And that's totally aligned with the way I look at it. To me, only the spiritual dimension is real and eternal. This material world that we're operating in is very, it's temporal. Right. So because of that, you can always override something that's out of harmony by getting your mind connected to the real and eternal. And I've seen things just dissolve before my eyes. I mean, people don't have to be afraid of evil if they know how to stand up to it. Yeah, absolutely. It's I mean, where there is light, there can be no darkness. Yeah, that's right. Spiritual power is the most powerful power in the world. Yeah. But, you know, you, you have to have an appetite for seeking it out. But I think more and more people are, are looking at that now. Which well, is- what creates that appetite is is suffering, unfortunately. So when it, if everything on the outside is going good, you don't turn within. But when you you're career tanks, your marriage tanks, or your health tanks, or a combination of that, then you start asking the truer, deeper questions like, wow, I thought my life was dependent upon how much money I had in the bank and my self-worth was dependent upon that. Now that's gone. Then you turn within and, and that's where you'll either get depressed, very depressed, or you'll get empowered. Exactly. And if you're spiritually oriented, you will understand that it's just a test. And once you get through it, you, you'll be much better off, much better off. I mean, well, you'll, I had, be at, you'll be at peace. You will peace be is the at, ultimate treasure. Yeah. Once you get that deep inner peace, that there is always a solution when you're confronted with something, um, you can't get freaked out anymore. I mean, I don't you think the ultimate fear, the, the the cause of all fear is fear of death. Once you get over that, you're home free. And the only way to get over that is to realize you, there is no death. Exactly. Exactly. And that's why these people that have near death, death experiences or spiritually transformative experiences. Um, I, did you ever have a near death? I've only had the spiritually transformative. No, I, I haven't. I know a lot of people that have, though. Yeah, I love to listen to their stories. Um, and um, But once you realize that you're not really just a mortal physical body and avatar living in the 3D world, you're so much more than that. You have always been and always will be. Um, and the supernatural is natural and there is a spiritual realm. You um, you don't fear it anymore. Yeah, and, and the whole journey of the soul is is shifting your inner alignment from an ego self that identifies with the body to your I am spiritual self that identifies with um, yourself as being created in our creator's image as a as a child right as an as a offspring so um, what has to die what is, what is death and rebirth the true death and rebirth well the true death is is moving from your ego identity that must die so that your spiritual or I am self can resurrect within you. That's the real crucifixion and resurrection playing exactly. out. And it is like, it's like being reborn once you connect. That's what it, that's what it means to be reborn in Christ. In exactly. truth. And that, that's not a, actually a religious thing. That's a spiritual thing is you're accepting right. your Christ itself. Exactly. I know after it happened to me, when I had a spontaneous healing of cancer, Shortly thereafter, I remember feeling like there was a waterfall going through my body, almost like an internal baptism. It was really a nice feeling. It just happened spontaneously. But, you know, the message of Dr. Emoto, 
he realized that he could take Japanese tap water in Tokyo, which he couldn't even make a pretty crystal out of. It was so not not so good. He had all these young children stand around it, holding hands, expressing gratitude and love to the water. He made a beautiful crystal. And he kept proving over and over again that our consciousness can clear up dirty ponds and and you know make our, ourselves feel better and because if it's a beautiful crystal as opposed to an ugly one of course it's having an effect on our on our being and our environment absolutely yeah, yeah. And, and and imagine you want that 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 balanced formation of the six pointed star because then your body can assimilate nutrients and eliminate waste properly because it's in it's symmetrical, it's balanced. When you're in stressed uh, situations or judgmental or uh, in attacking somebody emotionally or whatever, your cellular structure is not balanced, it's not symmetrical, it's asymmetrical, and therefore it cannot assimilate uh, nutrients nor eliminate waste uh, optimally. And, 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 there, and people age prematurely. Well, and then what happens to the cells is, is their spin cycle starts to slow. So every cell has a, a vibration or a spin cycle. And when that spin cycle gets low enough because of stagnant energy and distortion, um, it starts to ferment and that's cancer. That's right. That's right. It, acidic bodies, um, you have to, when you're alkaline, you don't, when I had that thing happen to me where I, I, I was actually spontaneously healed, of a diagnosis of cancer, I could feel that my whole body went alkaline on me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and I went from look, fear to no fear at all. Yeah, because fear and stress will acidify the body and forgiveness and peace alkalizes the body. And if you look at water in mother nature from like a stream or a pure lake, it's, it's naturally alkaline and naturally mineralized. It's that's alkaline right. because of the minerals. Yeah. Yeah. Spring water that's pure is really the best water you can drink. So I hear. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why these patches are so fascinating too, because they're made out of crystal. And David Schmidt, who invented them, got a download, right? He got a download and he was aspire, inspired by a creator to, to, um, to basically um, create this technology that that is amplifying a person's light quotient, and so what the patches do is is they're reflecting back the body's own infrared light and amplifying it because that's what crystals do, and that triggers a reaction in the body. So for the X39 patch is the stem cell patch. So it's it's not a transdermal patch. It's just reflecting back the light that's causing the body's peptide. Yeah, the body's peptide that's responsible for the body's own stem cells to uh, optimize those stem cells and to circulate those stem cells at levels back when you had them in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. And they work. They absolutely work. And they work fast for people. There's one called the ice wave for pain. Mm -hmm. And people can notice a, a change sometimes in 30 seconds or a minute. Very quickly. Yeah, 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 and 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 it's really the best. Um, you know, I lost my dad because of a pain spiral that we could not manage, even with morphine. And if I had these patches, I guarantee you, I could have reduced his pain by at least fifty percent. Oh, um, yeah. so my pain's been reduced by eighty percent. So it's it's a non-issue for me now. My life, I can live normally because I have arthritis in my spine I have degenerative disc and I broke my back but now I'm back in the gym lifting heavy weights because of these patches well and that's a thought to make it available to elderly people that they give you know a lot of medication to for pain and yeah that's interesting yeah there's no side effects that's right there's no negative side effects because it's yeah. not transdermal and it doesn't use any chemicals or drugs it's completely excellent. holistic mm -hmm. yeah it's worth checking out. Yeah, there'll be a link below the video so people can find it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, well, this is great. Very interesting. I think, you know, Dr. Emoto's work was kind of like opened people's thought up to consciousness <laughs> affecting things like water. It actually, our consciousness is affecting our environment, 
you know. Uh, I mean, it's just like Dale Carnegie, Carnegie's book, The Power of Positive Thinking, right? Or Napoleon Hill's book. You know, it's all it's all about the connection, the mind, body, matter connection, and the importance of a higher vibration. So if you're vibrating with happiness, peace, love, it's a higher frequency, and that's going to affect your environment. That's going to affect the food you eat, the water you drink, and the people, how they react or respond around you. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, I heard a mystic talking yesterday and he was saying, you know, a 3D person believes in just mind and body. But if you get beyond that and you're more 5D, it's mind, body, spirit. Right. And that's what Emoto says. You know, you cannot see a vibration. But if you're having a conversation with someone and somebody walks in that's in a bad mood, you can feel that vibration instantly. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. And that vibration will change the people around it. Um, so it'll you can feel it. It'll make you feel icky. Or if someone comes in high vibe, you're going to want to talk to that person. It elevates right. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was one thing I liked about being a flight attendant. We couldn't have, um, you know, brawls on the airplane like they do today. So we always had to be very upbeat and. <laughs> yeah. Unconditionally. Yeah, the good old days, huh? The good old days. Oh my God. Do I'm I'm telling you, I talk to other flight attendants of my vintage and we're going, what the heck happened? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll all come back again. We'll see. <laughs> Let's hope. All right. Well, that was great, Kevin. It was great talking to you about Dr. Emoto and Life Wave. And, Excellent, uh, Rebecca. Glad to uh, glad to be on. Yep. Yeah, we'll, thanks um, for having me. Let everyone see what we're up to if they want to yeah. look at the links below. Okay. Yeah, and leave a, leave a comment, and we'll follow up with you. And if you're in pain, definitely leave a comment because uh, we can probably get you out of pain very quickly. Yeah. Any questions you have about it, just leave a comment. We'll we'll be sure to get back to you. Yep. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Kevin. All right. You're welcome.